our last lesson in this chapter is partition shapes we will learn how to partition shapes open page 871 and let's get started let's first go through example number one together victoria will plant four different vegetables in her rectangular garden if she wants to partition the garden into four equal sections what fraction of the garden's area will be used for each vegetable our first step is to draw a rectangle to, to represent the garden's area here i drew my rectangle now let's partition this rectangle into four equal sections i will start by partitioning the rectangle into two equal sections exactly in the middle then each of these sections i'm going to again partition them into two more equal sections here exactly in the middle and here exactly in the middle i'm done we have partitioned the rectangle into four equal sections now let's explain how did we partition the rectangle the first step was partition the rectangle into two equal sections Then the second step is partition each of those two sections into two more equal sections. Now, what fraction of the garden's area will be used for each vegetable? We've partitioned it into how many equal parts? Four. So what is the total sections? Four. Each vegetable will have how many parts? Only one part. So our unit fraction for the garden's area for each vegetable will be one fourth now turn the page and let's go through example number two together partition a hexagon into six equal sections what fraction of the hexagon's area does each section represent so first we need to part to draw a hexagon again what what is a hexagon it's a polygon that has how many sides? Six sides. And how many angles? Six angles. Here I drew a hexagon. Now we, will, we need to partition this hexagon into six equal sections. We will start first by partitioning the hexagon into two equal sections. Now, we need to partition each section into three equal sections. I did the first one. Let's do the second one. Here we have six equal sections of the hexagon. Now, what unit fraction of the hexagon's area does each section represent? Again, what are the total sections? We have six sections. And each partition, each section is one. So we partition the hexagon into one-sixth. Let's go through the guided practice together. The first question, we need to partition the circle into four equal sections. What f unit fraction of the circle's area does each section represent? Again, 
we need to partition the circle into four equal sections and we need to write the unit fraction what is the unit fraction first in order to partition the circle into four equal sections we will start by partitioning it into two equal sections i can draw a horizontal line or a vertical line now i want to partition each section into two equal sections i can draw a vertical line an X and now I have four equal sections so what is the unit fraction of the circles area of each section one fourth now moving to the next page let's do together the even numbers and you will go and do the odd numbers by yourself in the whole page we need to partition each figure as indicated then write the unit fraction of the figure's area that each section represent we will start with number two let's partition this rectangle into six equal sections we will start by two sections then we will separate or partition each section into three equal sections now what is the unit fraction the unit fraction is one sixth moving to number four we need to separate this hexagon into two equal sections we can separate it or partition it diagonally vertically or horizontally i will separate it horizontally now what is the unit fraction one half we're almost done moving to number six we need to set to partition this rectangle into three equal sections i will start from here and now it's separated into three equal sections. What is the unit fraction? One third. Finally, question number eight, it's asking us to draw a square, partition it into four equal sections, write unit fraction of the whole, of the whole does the area of each section represent? So we will start first by drawing a square. After I drew, I drew the square, I need to partition it into four equal sections. I will first separate it into two equal sections, then separate each section into two more equal sections. Now, what is the unit fraction? The unit fraction is one fourth. Now you can go and solve the odd numbers and don't forget to send me on Class Dojo.